introduction, uh, introductory panel. And I've called it a panel, but really what it was meant to be was I wanted to um, spend five minutes to welcome everyone here and um, mention that this, this event is uh, generously supported by our sponsors. You can see them on both sides of the banner, especially the Premier and Platinum sponsors, Microsoft, Denard Durham, and Wanchang Blockchain Labs. We also have gold sponsors Santander, Consensus, Ethercamp.camp, and Scenario. Uh, in addition, you may notice on the website we have a number of community sponsors, and those were specifically created for smaller companies, startups, and companies who support this ecosystem in order to be involved if they're not able to um, afford a corporate level type sponsorship. And very, very happy to be able to be inclusive in this way. Um, um, if you look at your uh, program, you'll, you'll notice that there are two developers and researchers missing, but they will be speaking last. Um, we have Martin Beasy sitting, sitting in the first seat here, and he will be something we're really proud of. 
and we are looking forward to it for over a year now. And uh, hmm, let's see what else. Yes, uh, something that I will talk to you to about tomorrow was uh, we kind of prepared Go Ethereum to use as a library in other processes as well as in uh, mobile platforms. So that will be awesome. And a few things that uh, Nick was working on the domain, Ethereum domain name system. He'll also present that tomorrow. And a, other, a couple other things that you will be really happy about. One of them was that we finally written push notifications, so we don't need to pull the notes for anything else. I mean, you don't need to constantly pull the notes. And uh, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. We are still running a few trial things a new discovery protocol and uh, a new whisper implantation. And that's it, sorry for, the, uh, for being a bit out of breath now. Thank you. We split our uh, Solidity, uh, so that's now running completely standalone. Um, Dimitri will tell a bit more about uh, testing clients tomorrow. Um, as Martin already said, uh, Greg spent a lot of time improving the interpreter, and he will tell about that today. And um, Pavel is working on the Just in Time compiler. And we're planning to uh, make that modular. So basically, we're planning to make the whole virtual machine modular, so that different virtual machine implementations can be combined with different clients. And we um, we managed to do that already with uh, Pi Ethereum and the Justin Time compiler. Um, and yeah, then we so um, in order to get Solidity standalone, we. Uh, Created CPP Ethereum with a special testing mode that uh, has instant mining, so that's really nice to use for uh, for unit tests of smart contracts. And we're working on the yeah, we're, we're working on relicensing re the C++ uh, client to from from GPL to Apache. Then uh, we're also working on uh, an IDE for smart contracts. Which we call Remix. Uh, that's a reboot of the of the old Mix project that we had to abandon because it was really cumbersome to to compile uh, compile and distribute. And the idea there is that we want to create reusable JavaScript libraries that can be uh, yeah deployed and used with various IDEs we already know. Um, and uh, the, the overall goal for Remix is to create a serverless IDE that can, can be used offline in the browser and uh, perhaps at some point uh, deploy those for. Um, Jan will tell more about that tomorrow. And yeah, concerning Solidity, uh, yeah, there will be a detailed talk about what we did in the last year uh, tomorrow. And also, uh, I talk about what we plan to do uh, concerning formal verification of smart contracts uh, tomorrow. Yeah, thanks. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm leading the NIST team. So, last year at DevCon 1, we released the Zero Wallet. And in my opinion, it's one of the best an easiest way to interact with smart contracts today, and I think it was a great release because it really helped uh, smart contract developers get users and tell users how to use their, their, their contract. And we had over 20 beta releases since DevCon 1 with bug fixes, more, more features, and we, are pro we, are, we will keep doing them. And it's, it's been such an important project inside the foundation that before last year, we were two, sometimes three people working alone inside the Ethereum. This year, this year we miss now is its own team. We have our own dedicated full-time developers, 
And we, we were able, thanks to that, to make our first public releases of Myst. Um, it's out there, but uh, with the new changes in the Goethean and Swarm and the Light Client, it will impact deeply this. And I invite you to come on Wednesday to the Wednesday talk, where I present how much the changes, how much the Light Client and Swarm impacts, and all the new features that we, we've been work, working on. And also as a plus, I would like to tell you a little bit of our vision of the internet and how railroads are not as good as roads for the internet. And also, we have the ENS system. It even uses its own internet, its own domain system in a sense. And MIS itself uses hashes which needs name. And if you want to know more about this, I will be talking a little bit about how the hash register works also on Wednesday at 10.15. Um, so Vitalik, you have, is this on? Yes. Uh, you actually have a few more minutes, so if you want to speak for five more minutes. <laughs> if not, we can, we can actually move, we don't have to move the, um, oh you are okay. Okay, how about five more minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Victor, Nick, one of our devs want to come up here and say something? Yeah, I would love to have Victor on the stage because... Is we... Victor in the house? Yes, Come on up! Because Swarm just being merged is, I think, a bigger thing. We've, we've been waiting for, for his, his code for a long while and we are happy to see it. Okay, so I should have slides on uh, the current development status of form. Maybe that's what you want to hear about now, for this couple of minutes. So, at the moment, we, we, our team is hopefully expanding, so it's so going strong. Uh, the st development status is the following. It's, the code base has been merged to, to um, Go Ethereum uh, develop branch. This code base I'm talking about is the, the Golang uh, reference implementation, which is uh, going through like a series of proof of concept uh, stages, and at the moment we proof of concept two, and that implements very basic uh, but hopefully correct uh, working of the swarm, uh, including uh, you know file file upload, uh, you know document collections. Uh, virtual server, uh, routing tables, and, you know, uh, basic retrieval. It has uh, built-in uh, accounting for bandwidth, and a lot of projects are uh, planned for the, for the near end and, and long-term future, uh, which I'm going to talk about in the, in the coming talks. So, um, Okay, so these these are the main, the main things that that are missing from the from the current working version are the um, exact um, implementation of what we uh, uh, we're going to present in the in the first uh, small talk with Aaron, uh, which is the <coughs> the um, storage insurance, so basically storage uh, uh, incentivization for for storage. Uh, which makes sure that um, unpopular content is not deleted from the okay. Yeah, just just to finish finish it off like very quickly. So uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to talk more about it in the talks. Let's then go on. Okay, fine. 
So, without further ado, Metallic Burn. Thank you. Um, yeah, so as some, of, as some of you already know, there was like a uh, incident with the Ethereum network a couple hours ago, so I got this wonderful military-style wake-up at about 5.15 in the morning. <laughs> Fortunately, there's a fix coming out around now, so uh, congratulations to everyone for all to implement that. <laughs> yeah, so I am the... Uh, Chief Scientist of the, of the Ethereum Foundation. I guess as a, in general, the part of the Ethereum project that I'm focused on is the uh, research side. So research generally has... So one part of the Ethereum project is basically working on what's out there right now, which is the code, and the other part is working on what the protocol is going to be in the future. And that's basically what our research is. So it's exploring things like proof of stake, exploring things like sharding, well, such sharding, exploring privacy-preserving protocols and applications on top of Ethereum, ring signatures, zero knowledge proofs, formal verification. So we have a team of like about five to ten people, including myself, Vlad, Martin, uh, who's going to talk a bit later about VM optimization, working on all of these uh, wonderful things. And uh, so. One of the presentations I'm going to give today is actually an update on proof of stake and charting. So we are going to, uh, at this point, the algorithm is kind of well underway. I'm going to talk a bit about uh, what it is, um, how it works, and we have a Python uh, test client that's being developed right now. So that stuff's pretty far along and it's very exciting. Um, in and at the same time, Vlad is going to be here today and he is going to talk about sort of his side of the story and uh, other people in the research efforts are going to have uh, kind of their own ability to present. So this will all be very fun. And this is uh, basically what the Ethereum, where the Ethereum protocol is going to be three years from now. So, the, and that's the part that I'm uh, probably per uh, personally, uh, or one of the things that I'm personally the most excited about. Other things that I'm excited about include the uh, contributions of the other wonderful team members. Probably my favorite, the most, the most wonderful one of the last couple of weeks is probably the release of the light client. So, yeah, you can sync to the, you can now use Ethereum applications without sync, without syncing the entire blockchain yourself. Yay! 